It's a Monday, September 8th, 2025, your day with a podcast brought to you by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. If you've been injured in an accident, don't face it alone. Get an experienced local Wyoming attorney on your side. Free consultations at wyomingadvocates.com or call 307-800-1952. You deserve an advocate. Mild September weather is ahead this week, really for more than a week. We don't have anything rocking the boat in terms of a big cold shot yet, but what we will see is a persistent, what we would call troughiness, not really a word, but overall, the far western United States is going to have an area of low pressure, several of them, that are going to come off the Pacific and settle into the region. And with these troughs around, you're going to have the weather be unsettled, but at the same time, temperatures are going to be mild. And with winds aloft changing, instead of the winds aloft coming in from the northwest, they're going to come from the southwest. So that's going to really improve smoke conditions. And for areas along and west of the divide, but east of the divide as well, there's going to be a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity kind of here and there, not really organized, except in one area that we'll show you here in a moment that could get real wet. Uh, but there's just basically this is not a bad pattern at all. There's no hard freeze threat coming. Temperatures are going to be warm. They're going to be warmer than they've been, but they're not going to be hot. And we're going to occasionally have some shower and thunderstorm activity around. That's how this week is going to go. Also, tomorrow, when we go into the first five or six days of the new month, we get a new set of seasonal forecast models, and we'll show you what those look like with our update tomorrow. Beautiful shot there of a hawk moth, Story Wyoming. Those are out and about in full force here as we wind down the summer season. And speaking of winding down the summer season, the first several slides we'll show you are gonna rewind a bit back to late last week with that Canadian cold front, the Canadian smoke. And there you can see fresh dusting of snow in the higher peaks of Southern Colorado late last week. And we did see very high elevation snow in that cold snap last week in some areas, but also a lot of Canadian smoke from Northwest Colorado, but making for a beautiful sunset with those rays in Southeastern Wyoming on Friday. But with winds patterns changing, we will see the smoke improving. Now there's still smoke out there. The source region for the big smoke has been up in parts of British Columbia. Those fires very big and the winds aloft. You can see the way the smoke plumes are going, where the winds are going. And this is the plume that was basically here late last week. But what we're gonna have, what we're gonna see is winds aloft coming this way. Yes, we've got a large wildfire in South Central California. So there is gonna be some smoke, but we're not bringing the real thick smoke in from Western Canada. So some smoke and haze at times, but southwest winds will predominate throughout the course of the week. A lot of you have been noticing the moon out there really showing itself as the moon rise quite spectacular all across the region. And some fall colors showing up around Lake McConaughey, at least little tinges of color here and there. We're going to show you a lot of the 500 millibar chart here over the next week to 10 days because it's really going to tell the story. The Pacific is being really active in terms of throwing out lots of low pressure systems up here coming out of the Gulf of Alaska with a big high pressure ridge towards the North Central Pacific. And so we just have a lot of little waves coming through. But you may not notice this, but when we look up here, we don't have a lot of green or blue, which would mean really cold air building up. The, the air here in North Central and Eastern Canada, relatively speaking, really isn't that cold. And one reason for that is we've had so many cold fronts in the in the latter half of August. There's just been a lot of removing of the cooler air up there to the lower latitudes and the cooler than average temperatures in this part of North America here. But we don't have a lot of really cold air up here yet to bring in. What we're going to be bringing in is uh, more uh, Pacific air that's going to be influenced by the water more. So it's it's going to be cooler and moist up here in the Pacific Northwest, but we don't have the real cold yet, at least queued up, at least here over the next seven to 10 days. But what we do see are several of these low pressure systems coming in. So this is today, 
So there is going to be some precipitable water to work with, not a lot, but we will have some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening in these areas highlighted here. Tomorrow, the water content gets a little bit better. So we'll see an uptick in thunderstorm activity in the front range of Colorado, eastern Wyoming, out across parts of Nebraska and South Dakota and the Pacific Northwest here. There will be some rain falling in the fires of British Columbia this week, and that'll help out with the smoke as well. As we go through the week, this is for Thursday. We still have the low. It's just kind of parked here over parts of California and the Northwest Great Basin with another trough coming in behind it. We don't have any real big cold air build up here yet by the end of the week. But we have southwest flow aloft, keeping temperatures mild, keeping moist, unstable air west of the divide, bringing occasional showers and thunderstorms. So if you add up the next five days, you can see that Oregon, Northern California, Montana, up into British Columbia here, southwest areas of Canada, and then down into the four corners there. Look at this down here in Colorado. The southwest flow will bring instability and some showers and thunderstorms here. The heaviest moisture right here is Thursday and Friday for you folks in western and southwest Colorado. So the better rains later in the week. But you can see there's going to just be persistent showers and thunderstorms. Western Wyoming as well. Wasatch Front of Utah. We're going to have some action here and there with scattered areas of showers and thunderstorms between now and Friday with seasonably mild September temperatures. This is for the weekend. The low gets pushed out a little more east because of this guy here pushing in and it just kind of parks itself. Notice if we were to draw where the jet stream will be, we've got this high going up like this. This is a slow pattern because you end up getting the low to come in. The low is coming in off the coast. This pumps up the high that pumps down a low up into Canada and you get this omega shape. This is, is a pattern where storms and systems aren't going to move very quickly. The faster moving jet stream winds are up here. So you're just going to have persistent low pressure systems. Here's another one. Here's another one. They're just going to come into the west, the Pacific Northwest in particular, and settle into the northern Rockies. So that's how this week and weekend will go. And that's how it looks next week. So this is, this is Saturday. This is Sunday. So the weekend, we're going to have a persistent area of low pressure in the west. That'll bring showers and thunderstorms. Keep temperatures mild, not cold, but certainly we're not bringing in any desert air either, so it's not going to be hot. And you can see the omega pattern is still there. So things are going to be slow to happen. The stronger jet stream winds are way up north. So we're going to be locked out from anything really cold up here. We're going to have the door open to Pacific Northwest moisture and energy coming on through. We've got a hurricane potential down here off the west coast of Mexico by this weekend as well. So if we were to look at the three days of Friday through Monday, look at this. We're gonna see significant rains in Montana, Southern Alberta, Saskatchewan, the Dakotas could do white quite well. I also expect some showers and thunderstorms in Western Wyoming to help out with the fire situation there and into the Pacific Northwest. And you can see along the spine of the Rockies, there's gonna be some scattered showers and thunderstorms. So it's not monsoonal, it's Pacific moisture that's coming on in. So it could be quite wet up here, especially if you add up the next five to seven days. And yes, there will be some high elevation snow, but since we're not going to entrain any really cold Canadian air into these systems, the snow levels are going to be, they're going to be tree line and above. They're going to be pretty high, but some of the higher mountains, especially this weekend, will see some higher elevation snow potential, but it's not going to amount to too much. Next week, this is Tuesday next week. Notice things aren't changing. We're kind of stuck. There's the Omega pattern. So the lows will continue in the Pacific Northwest, the Central and Northern Rockies. You're going to be warmest in the nation's midsection underneath this skinny high pressure ridge. So this goes more than a week of the West being under persistent troughiness, persistent low pressure, high pressure in the middle of the U.S., low pressure in the Great Lakes in the Northeast. It's a sticky pattern, going to be stuck here for a while. Going out further, this is all the way to the 19th of September. So things are going to start to change right around that time frame. You still see the same pattern right here, that omega still kind of there. 
However, see this high pressure ridge, strong jet stream winds up here. Notice there's green and yellow showing up here now. So what will happen after the 19th, and especially between the 23rd and the 30th, is one of these will come in with some colder air and make it a little bit more serious of a fall cold front later that last, let's say, seven to eight day period into September we'll keep an eye on. In the meantime, it's Pacific dominated not Canadian dominated for a good seven to 10 days. We'll have more for you tomorrow. Have a good Monday.